Hello, the purpose of today's video is to explain how you can load your own custom icons into TAC Team Awareness Kit. Today I'll be demonstrating using ATAC Android Team Awareness Kit, the CIV version, but you could also do this using very similar instructions in WinTAC, the Windows version of Team Awareness Kit. At this time, the current version of iTAC, the iPhone Team Awareness Kit, does not have this functionality, but that may roll out at a later date. If you're not familiar with TAC, you can learn more about it at TAC.gov. Today, the icons that I want to pull in are more specific to Incident Command. I was thinking back to one of my early ICS classes, 100, maybe it was 200. And if you've taken those classes, you probably remember a slide like this. I always felt like there should be more standard icons in the Incident Command System lexicon. And I've seen them in different programs, I just haven't seen them in tech. So I did a little research and found this group here, the National Alliance for Public Safety, GIS. Now, these individuals have brought together people from different communities within incident response and come up with a symbol library. You click here under Access Symbol Library Tool. You'll see icons that you may have seen in other common operating picture platforms. What I would like to demonstrate is loading these natural hazards here, these icons. If I click on this and download, what I will get is multiple versions of these icons and more than you can see on the screen currently. They would be in different sizes. What I found is in TAC, the 32 by 32 pixel works fine. Anything larger than that is not going to show up any differently in TAC. So you can keep the file size pretty small. So what you're going to do is download that file and delete out all the versions of these individual icons that are larger than 32 by 2. I'm sorry, 32 by 32. And then you will load that zip file onto your computer and open TAC. Next, I'm going to click the point dropper tool. In the top right hand corner, there is settings gear. Click on that. And this is a list of all the icon sets that I currently have loaded into this version of TAC. By the way, I'm in 4.7, but this will work in previous versions. I'm gonna click on add icon set. And it's looking for places on the hard drive of this particular tablet where it might find zip file that I have downloaded. So I've got here the napsghazards.zip. I'm going to click on that. It's going to think for a second. It's done quite quite quick because you see down here napsg hazard there were 26 icons in there. Now if I wanted to send that to another user I could. Right now I'm just going to verify that everything's correct with it. We're going to go back Open up my point dropper tool. I'm going to change from the default markers, see what list I have available to me. And there it is, NAPSG hazards. I click on it and there are my icons. So let's take one of these, earthquake, for example. I click on it, I drop it on the map, earthquake one. I can take that and send it to somebody if I want to, or move it around. I will warn you when you're creating your zip file, that all this was based on. Make sure you name it what you want the default name to be. The file as it comes from the NAPSG website is going to say something to the effect of NAPSIG icon earthquake 32 by 32. If you leave it with that default name, that's what's gonna show up right here. I deleted all that where it just says earthquake and then it appends to that a number one, a number to number number two number two 